sure. I mean, the, the fielding plan does not take into account anybody, but like basically your life plan. Yeah, that's what it is. Just in, 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 in the reality so, of your, your team and your big units, like the destroyed. On your uh, computers also is the, the brief so you can uh, click along so since uh, some details that may be able to be a better flesh here at the CPX, here at the Division 4, at the Division Main, uh, down to the BSC, down to an actual launcher. And at the end of the year, once we have tested this capability, right now still not in our eye here, folks, up at DD9, so that the institution can then make an informed decision on how we that's, that's sort of the plan. This is our IOC capability, and then at WTI in the spring, we're going to execute our FOC capability for our employment model. So, what you folks see here today, ladies and gentlemen, as Colonel Winter says, it's in the garrison. He goes, but you realize this has big implications for MAGCAPS. It's 100% general. Uh, that is our CTN uh, module. It's basically a, a large containerized box, and that is our gateway to the Navy CEC. A limb fact for us, supportability and logistics wise. Right next to it in the back corner is our MRQ-13 with all the antennas coming off of it. That is our organic uh, uh, comm suite, so our voice communication, we can remote into our op back. And as he talked about, take it back with you. Oh, awesome. Thank you. So, um, as we sort of test these things, one of the ways we get around that.